Smart automation, better business. Learn how to optimize your business with Solved. Hello, and welcome to the Solved.cloud channel. I'm David Lau, a Salesforce consultant here. And today we're going to dive into a topic that's essential for anyone looking to organize their projects and achieve their goals. Action plans. I'll be walking through the fundamentals of creating and using action plans, showing you how to turn your big ideas and processes into a series of clear, manageable steps that can be tracked and reported on directly within Salesforce. So let's dive into it. Okay, jumping into Salesforce here. The first step before you do anything else with action plans is come to setup, navigate to permission sets, and assign yourself the action plans permission set. This will enable you to create action plans as well as utilize the functionality of action plans within Salesforce and grant you all the necessary permissions. So jumping back into the sales application, once you have added that permission, you should be able to add action plans and action plan templates here. Now, first, before you can utilize action plans, you need to create a template. So I'll walk you through how to create an action plan template. And high level, an action plan template is an organized set of tasks that are reoccurring, that are processes that you do more than once. So this way, you don't have to create all of those tasks every time. So let's go ahead and create, for example, a client onboarding action plan. Now we name the action plan, we select the action plan type, and then we select a target object. For this object, we'll select the account object because all of our clients live in the account object here. I'll go ahead and save this. Now, we have first created an action plan template here. Now you can create a series of tasks here that this action plan goes through. So we'll create three simple tasks here. The first one will be kickoff meeting. And when you create each task, you select the priority, the number of days you have to accomplish this task. So the number of days the due date will be set out from if it is required, any comments, as well as who it gets assigned to. You can assign it to a specific user, a role, or a queue. We will just go with the action plan creator on this one. You can also set reminders for these tasks. Now we will create just three simple tasks here and we'll set this one two days to grant access to the client portal. Now that we have an existing task, we can put prerequisites. So if, for example, we cannot give the client access to the portal until we have done the kickoff call. So we don't want to assign the second task until the first task is complete. We come through again, select the task assignment, a reminder if we would like one, and save it. There. Now the last one we will do is the... Oh, we've got to mark it as required. Here. I missed that step. The last task we will do here is... Ah, so we need the prerequisite it task to be marked as acquired in order to have following tasks that are prerequisites. So select a priority and the prerequisite. Now we can save it. We'll go ahead and create the third and final task. But before we do that, let's mark that second one as required as well. And we will add a third 
and final initial data upload complete task here. And we will have it after the access granted to client portal. Come in, select action plan creator and hit save. Now, it is very important that before you publish that you double check, make sure all the tasks are complete because you will have to clone. You cannot edit a published template. You would have to clone and edit and then republish an action plan template, which can be a little tedious sometimes. So it's just best to make sure you create it correctly the first time. So now once we have finalized the action plan template, we have these three tasks that are happen often within the process. We will now publish this template. Now, once this template is published, you will be able to access this, this action plan template and create it. So let's jump to a test account record here. And as you can see on the right hand side, we have this action plans component, the component that you need to add to the page. If you have not done so already, I will show you what it is called here. Go ahead and refresh this is the action plan list. You'll need to add that to your record page that you'll want to utilize action plans on, or you can add the related list of action plans if you would prefer that as well. But now that we have this action plans component on the page, we can create a new plan. Now we name this plan. So we'll say test account onboarding. We select when we'd like to start this action plan tomorrow. And then we select a template. We'll select the client onboarding template and hit next. We can see the tasks that will get created and we'll hit save. Now, as you can see, that first task gets created for the kickoff meeting scheduled and gets assigned to me, the action plan creator, and has a due date of one day out from when we kicked it off. So now that the first task is generated, the prerequisite tasks or the next ones will not be available until you complete the first one because we marked the prerequisite for this task as the kickoff meeting call. So as you can see, as we complete these tasks and we jump back to the action plan, the next task will get assigned in the correct order. So that is the brief overview of how to set up action plans and utilize them. If you jump back to the account, you'll be able to see a brief overview of that action plan here on the right hand side with the items complete, status, owner, started date, and frequency, as well as the task list here on a smaller screen. So it's a little squished here, but you can see the overview there. So that is the end to end process of how to create an action plan template add the component to a record page and start using action plans. So go ahead and follow that process. If you have any questions, feel free to comment them below and go ahead and check out our YouTube channel for any other processes that you may be curious about learning about, or if it is not a video for it, drop a comment below and we can take a look at adding that to our channel. Thanks so much for watching today. Thank you so much for watching. We can't wait to help you automate your business. Please like, comment, or subscribe for more.